Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited about this video because I'm gonna be talking about something that I get questions about almost every single day, both from beginner artists and seasoned artists alike. And that is how in the world am I supposed to price my art? So in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to price your art using an hourly rate method. I will go over how to determine your hourly rate, how to figure out exactly how long you've spent working on a piece of artwork, and I will also expose one of the biggest mistakes that beginner artists are making when they price their art. It's a mistake I've made too. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Kayla. I go by Kayla Creative Online. I'm a full-time iPad artist and I love helping other creatives just like you learn how they can make an income from their iPads through digital art. If that sounds cool to you, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so that you'll know every time I post a new resource. So when I first started selling my digital art online, one of the first methods that I used to price my artwork was this concept of an hourly wage rate. That literally means taking the number of hours that you've worked on an art piece and multiplying it by the hourly wage rate that you want to be paid. This was an easy concept for me to grasp when I was first getting started because I have worked jobs in the past where I was paid hourly and I actually made myself an art pricing calculator to help me figure out exactly how much I should be charging for my work using this method. I'd love to give that to you for free if it's helpful for you. Check the link in my description and download it whenever you have a second. So first, let's talk about hourly rate. How are you supposed to come up with this magical number that you should be paid per hour of your time? And my answer to that, friend, is it's up to you. But I do have two suggestions for you as you figure that rate out. My first suggestion is that you understand what the minimum wage is where you live and that you select an hourly rate for yourself that is at least the minimum wage where you live. Please, please, please do not work for less than the minimum wage where you live I know you enjoy making art, but you deserve to be paid fairly for it. Now, if you're in the United States like me, I have a second suggestion for you when it comes to setting your hourly rate, and that is to set it at at least $20.35 per hour. That is because as of the time that I'm filming this video, $20.35 per hour is the average hourly rate for a skilled trade worker in the United States according to ZipRecruiter. So I've got my notes here and I want to read for you the definition of a skilled trade. A skilled trade is any occupation that requires a particular skill set, knowledge, or ability, and it's usually a hands-on job. So if in doubt about how to price your art, I would say that you price it at least in line with the average skilled tradesman. The art pricing calculator that I'm sharing with you comes pre-filled with $20.35 as the hourly rate for all of the reasons that I just shared, but I also have a little note that I wrote in there encouraging you to modify this rate as you see fit. So don't forget to grab your calculator. It's linked in the description below. Okay, so now you've got your hourly rate and it is time to figure out how many hours you typically spend creating artwork. Now, a lot of the times as beginner artists, we have to quote clients and accept payments for art before we've actually finished it. So it means that we are taking our best guess a lot of times on how long it's gonna take to finish something. You have to be really careful with this because if you guess wrong 
and you quote for lower than the amount of hours that you end up spending on a piece, then that means you short yourself out of money in the end. It's happened to a lot of my artist friends and it's happened to me before. A good rule of thumb that I would suggest before you start selling your art online is to create a variety of artwork and time yourself to see how long it takes you to make each type of artwork that you plan to sell. So if you want to be a commission artist, this would look like figuring out how long it takes you to draw a bust versus how long it takes you to draw a full body or how long it takes you to draw one person versus how long it takes you to draw a couple. Now, if you are a digital artist using Procreate, just like me, there is a very easy way that you can figure out how long it's taken you to do different types of art and how long you've spent in different stages, and that is to check the tracked time in the Canvas properties. After you have created enough variety of art and you have studied the time that it takes you to create different things, you should have a pretty good handle on about how long it takes you to create the type of artwork that you plan to sell. Okay, now you've got your hourly rate and you have a good idea of how long it's gonna take you to create the artwork that you're selling. You are tempted to multiply those two numbers together to come up with your final art pricing, but that would be a mistake. The number one thing that beginner artists forget to factor into their art price is the time that they spend communicating with clients and doing revision work. So don't forget, unless you are selling something that's pre-made like a print or stickers, it's likely that you're going to have some communication, some back and forth with the client as you close the sale and you'll probably have more communication as you go through revision rounds with the client. You wanna factor this additional time in when you're figuring out your pricing for your artwork. The art pricing calculator that I made for you does have additional fields where you can fill in that extra time that you spend communicating with your clients to make sure that you have the most accurate art pricing as possible. Now, I also want to share that this is a simplified method. It's perfect for beginner artists who are just getting started doing things like selling art commissions online. As you start progressing in your art making career, and especially if you decide to go full time, you do want to take into account additional overhead associated with your business and factor that into your pricing as well. But if you're a beginner and you're at the place that I I was when I first started selling my art online, then this method could be really, really helpful for you. I plan to make more videos for you all on how to sell your art online so that you can fund your dreams. If there are any particular questions that you have, make sure to leave me a comment and let me know. I'm happy to make a video discussing whatever topics that you most want to hear about. And in the meantime, if you are hanging out on YouTube for a little bit longer today, I would highly suggest a Anusha Syed's video, which is called How to Price Your Art Advice from a Professional Illustrator. I'll also link that in the description below. As always, I hope this video has been helpful for you, my friend, and I hope you feel encouraged to follow your dreams. You can do this. Bye.